Hello everyone, this is Cheese Dad, and we are not playing Minecraft today, even though this is mostly a Minecraft channel. Today I'm going to be reading random Wikipedia pages to put you to sleep, because a lot of people have told me that I have a very relaxing voice, so I guess, I guess we're doing this. I am going to head over here to the left side, over here in this bar somewhere there is a button for a random article, it's right there. If we click this, we get a totally random article out of the 6,248,044 articles in English Wikipedia. Before we begin, however, if you don't know, if you're new here, we do have a very interesting sub goal going on right now. I get married in September 2021, and my fiance has said that if we hit 150,000 subscribers by the time we get married, she will walk down the aisle wearing a Minecraft Steve head. If we had 250,000 by then, I'll also wear one. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. Just don't use alt accounts because YouTube can tell that they're alts and they can flag the account. So with that being said, let's click this random article page. Chocolaterie Robert. The Chocolaterie Robert is the first commercial producer of locally produced chocolate in Madagascar. Bars of chocolate are the company's most widespread product and are sold under the name Chocolat Robert. Robert. The company was established in 1940 by the French Réunionnais Robert family in Toa Mesina and changed hands several times before being sold to a Malagasy business group run by the Ramanan Drab family, among the major Malagasy leaders driving economic development of the island in the post-colonial period. Chocolaterie Robert is the first brand of chocolate to be commercially produced and sold in Madagascar. The company was established in 1940 by Mr. and Mrs. Robert, a French couple from a nearby Reunion Island. The couple began producing chocolates using local cocoa from Bricaville, where Madagascar's first cocoa plantations had been established by earlier French colonists. In 1948, the couple sold the company to a candy maker based in Antana Narivo. By 1977, the company was owned by a French family named Berger, who decided to leave the island and sell the chocolaterie to a Malagasy entrepreneur named Ramanan Drabe, whose family were among the Malagasy economic leaders of the post-colonial period. Robert chocolate bars are currently available throughout Madagascar and in 12 stores in France and one in the United Kingdom. Artisanal chocolates and other sweets are sold in specialty chocolaterie Robert boutiques at seven locations in Madagascar. These include cakes, chocolate-based candies, baking chocolate, chocolate powder, and chocolate bars. On 18th of October, 2014, Robert Chocolate won awards in several categories at the International Chocolate Awards in London. These included the gold medal for 50% milk chocolate, the silver medal for 85% dark chocolate, the silver medal for its white chocolate with vanilla, and the bronze medal for its 65% dark chocolate, considered the most difficult category with over 100 competitors. The Raman Drape Group is currently working closely with the farmers of Brickaville to rebuild local expertise in cocoa production. Since 2012, the company has made intensive investments to further improve the quality of their chocolate in order to compete globally with international chocolate makers. To this end, the company established a series of cooperatives employing 125 farmers in the Ambanja region to produce top quality organic cocoa. New high performance machines were purchased for the Ananerivo factory, and the company has adopted British quality standards as required by the hazard analysis critical control point in order to expand into the British market. You bored yet? Are you bored? Are you having fun listening to me struggling to pronounce non English words? Another Robert. Robert Plunkett. Born Dublin, 11th of May, 1802, died Monkstown, 13th of May, 1867, was an Anglican priest in Ireland during the 19th century. Burke was educated at Trinity College, Dublin. He was Archdeacon of Killala from 1847 to 1850, and Dean of Tuam from then until his death. So, the, it says Robert Plunkett, but... This says Burke. 
Okay. Let's get ourselves another random article. Craig Stapleton, Rugby League. Craig Stapleton, born 31st of August, 1978, is an Australian former professional rugby league footballer who last played for the South Sydney Rabbitohs in the National Rugby League. Stapleton formerly played for St. George and St. George Elawara, Elawara, Parramatta Eels, Penrith Panthers, and Cronulla Sutherland Sharks in the Australian National Rugby League competition as well as Lee Centurions and Salford City Reds in Super League, primarily as a prop. A journeyman forward, Stapleton played for eight clubs in 12 years. Background. Stapleton was born in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Playing career. Stapleton made his first grade debut for St. George against the Gold Coast Chargers in round 11 of the 1998 NRL season, which ended in a 30-16 victory. At the end of 1998, St. George formed a joint venture with the Illawarra Steelers to form St. George Illawarra as a part of the NRL's rationalization policy. In 2001, Stapleton began playing for St. George Illawarra. In the 2002 NRL season, he played in the club's elimination final loss against rivals Cronulla Sutherland. Stapleton joined Parramatta for the 2004 NRL season, as the club finished a disappointing 12th on the table. Stapleton spent a year in England with Lee during the 2005 season. In 2006, he joined Penrith and played 24 games for the club, as they missed out on the finals. He was later released by Penrith and joined Cronulla Sutherland. He played 24 games for Cronulla as they finished 11th on the table. In 2008, Stapleton joined English Super League club Salford. Return to Australia Stapleton returned to Australia in 2009 to play in the Illawarra Rugby League competition with Wests and was called up by the South Sydney Rabbitohs in 2010 due to the number of injuries they had in the forwards. For the 2019 Group 7 Rugby League season, Stapleton was named head coach of the Warilla, Gr of the Warilla Gorillas. What a name. First grade debut, 1998. Round 11, St. George versus Gold Coast Chargers at Gold Coast Stadium, 23rd May. Salford's Player of the Year in 2008 and 2009. Are you ready for the next random article? Zubak, Vicent. Zubak is a river of Bavaria, Germany. It is a left tributary of the Vicent in Weichkenfeld. I know I have a lot of German viewers, so I'm sorry for that one. Another random article. All Fall Down, Camo and Crooked Song. All Fall Down is a dubstep song by Austrian drum and bass duo Camo and Crooked. The song features trance music vocalist Shaz Sparks, who is known for her collaborations with drum and bass artist John B., with lyrics written by Robbie Bronneman. Bronneman. It was released as a single along with the double A side track, Breeze Block. The single was released in the United Kingdom on 3rd of June, 2011 through Hospital Records. Both tracks from the single appear on their second studio album, Cross the Line. All Fall Down became one of the Camo and Crooked's first charting songs as it has reached number 196 in the UK Singles Chart, as well as number 40 in the UK Dance Chart, and number 20 in the UK Indie Chart. A music video was released for All Fall Down on YouTube, through the official Hospital Records channel, and through the UKF Music Channel, UKF Dubstep. It was first published on 3rd of June, 2011. The video was designed in a digitally generated fantasy world, similar to that portrayed in the Tron franchise. A music video for Breeze Block was also released on the same day through the Hospital Records channel and through UKF Music's second channel, UKF Drum and Bass. The video visualizes a fictional game show called The Drop, where two contestants, Jeff and Wendy, have a dance-off against each other trying not to collapse on the floor with exhaustion. The track listing is as follows. Number 1. All Fall Down, featuring Shaz Sparks, original mix. Number 2. All Fall Down, featuring Shaz Sparks, club mix. 
Number three, Breeze Block, original mix. Are you asleep yet? Are you relaxed? Are you enjoying yourself? Is this a waste of time? Is anything a waste of time? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. I don't want to read more about football. The Harassed Hero. The Harassed Hero is a 1954 British comedy film directed by Maurice Elvey and starring Guy Middleton, Joan Windmill Brown, and Elwyn Brooke Jones. It was based on a novel of the same name by Ernest Dudley. Plot. Wealthy hypochondriac bachelor Murray Selwyn, played by Guy Middleton, has been ordered by his doctors to avoid stress, but unfortunately finds himself face to face with a gang of counterfeiters. Murray has unwittingly come into possession of the printing plates the gang is after. His stress levels escalate further when Murray's nurse, played by Joan Windmill Brown, is kidnapped by the gang. Partial cast, Guy Middleton, Murray Selwyn, Joan Windmill Brown, Nurse Brooks, Elwyn Brooke Jones, Logan, Mary McKenzie, Estelle Logan, Harold Goodwin, Twig, Joss Ambler, Dr. Grice, Clive Morton, Archer, Hugh Moxley, Willis, Stafford Byrne, Gabrielle Brune, Gaylord Cavallaro, Simone Lovell, Alfred Moran. Critical Reception TV Guide wrote, Silly comedy routines abound in this patented British farce. Well, that seems like a lovely critical reception to me. Yet another random article. 1702 in Wales. This article is about the particular significance of the year 1702 to Wales and its people. The incumbents, Prince of Wales, vacant. Princess of Wales, vacant. Events. Anne, daughter of King James II, comes to the throne of Great Britain. Since her only surviving son had died prior to her accession, there is no prospective Prince of Wales. Date unknown. The 23rd Regiment of Foot is granted the title the Welsh Regiment of Fusiliers. An Eisted Fod is held at Macklenith. Mackinleth. Richard Bulkley, 4th Viscount Bulkley, secedes his father, the 3rd Viscount, as Constable of Beaumarie Castle. New Books, David Maurice. Sinford Ir Guan Christian Nurgorsen Isik. Translation from work of Theophilus Dorrington. Births, 20th of May, Thomas Morgan, Judge, died 1769. Richard Farrington, Antiquary, died 1772. Humphrey Owen, Academic, died 1768. Deaths, January, James Ansley, 3rd Earl of Angsley. 25th March, Lewis Wogan of Bolston, High Sheriff of Pembrokeshire about 50. 12th May, Elizabeth Gwynn, philanthropist, daughter of Thomas Gwynn of Hay Castle. December, Sir Charles Kemys, third baronet, governor of Cardiff Castle. Date unknown, David Maurice, clergyman and translator. See also, 1702 in Scotland. Y'all ready for another one? Riga City Theatre. The Rigas Pilsetas Teatris, or Riga City Theater, was the first permanent theater in the city of Riga in Latvia, founded in 1782. It was the first permanent theater in Latvia and the Baltic. It hosted both theater as well as opera performances and concerts. It is the origin of the current Latvian National Opera. It was a center of culture in the Baltic, and Richard Wagner, Franz Liszt, and Clara Schumann, Anton Rubinstein, and Hector Berlioz 
were all employed there at some points in their careers. Hopefully I've been able to lull at least some of you to sleep. And some of you will undoubtedly be horrified at some of my pronunciations. If you're not horrified, then I can know. At least you're laughing at me in the comments because that's how YouTube works. If you've made it all the way through this video, use the word theater in your comment down below so that I know you watched the entire video. And if you fell asleep during the video, I hope you have a wonderful sleep. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, especially if you want to see that sub goal happen. I sincerely appreciate each who subscribes to the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. With that said, this has been Cheese, and I will see you next time.